Congratulations. A big hand for our Innovator of the Year 2010. Reina is getting used to receiving awards. It's considered Germany's most innovative medium-sized company. In this case, a panel made up of economics professors has just named it Innovator of the Year. But Reina's managers are keeping their feet firmly on the ground. I don't think we should get above ourselves. We just have to continue innovating and pick up on positive market developments. The village of Gutenbach in the Black Forest, population around a thousand. The region has acquired a reputation for research excellence. This is where Reina was founded 17 years ago. The company has registered 360 international patents to date. And in the past four years alone, it's introduced 100 innovations onto the market. The main focus of manufacturing here is on production systems for the solar industry, like this machine which etches photovoltaic cells. The setup was invented here in 2003. Now its sales account for a quarter of the company's turnover. Physicist Norbert Berger has been here from the beginning. What's special about this process is that we have a one-step procedure in which both the bottom and the sides are etched. Essentially, we invented something unique in which two steps of production take place in one process. But competition in this field is tough. The systems have to be constantly reworked and improved. And most importantly, they have to be increasingly easier to operate. Only about 10% of our systems have not been upgraded during the past three years. We're continually inventing and improving. That's what has made the company world leader in its field and a target for industrial espionage. In many departments, filming is prohibited. Compared to other industries, we need a small revolution about every two years in order to keep up. We have very short innovation cycles. One reason that works is the great amount of freedom given to the employees. They can devote 20% of their working hours to independent activity and developing their own ideas. It's the only way to keep creative people in the company. But that alone isn't enough to guarantee success. All the components have to fit together. Excellence in development means nothing unless we're excellent manufacturers. We also have to be strong in distribution and service. In the past few years, the number of employees has multiplied fivefold to just under a thousand. Last year, the company still had short time working hours. Nowadays, the company is working to capacity with a new production hall and the pipeline. The CEO isn't worried about a shortage of new recruits. The Black Forest has plenty of amateur innovators, of course. But there are also scientists and highly trained engineers who play a big role. The Black Forest region is a good source of skilled workers who are well trained. And they're in demand as are good ideas, because in this field, you need to be inventive to stay ahead of the pack. <laughs>